I've lived in this apartment for almost a year and I never filmed an apartment tour because I cannot have somebody film for me or I can't speak. But my dad lives here now, so he's filming my apartment tour for me. Thanks, dad. <laughs> I moved into the most unbelievable apartment in February. I lived with Jordy, my BFF, for like two years and then we decided we wanted to like move out and get our own places but we still wanted to live in the same building. I let Jordy pick the apartment building because he has very specific tastes so I said you can choose the building, we'll live in the same hallway so he lives on the other end of the hallway and I live here. Welcome to Mikasa. There was a gun slash Frenchie dealer that lived in my old apartment building that had this doormat and I fell in love with it. It says bitch don't wear no shoes in my house. I didn't know his doormat because I was participating in the things that he was selling, but I did see him walk out of his apartment once and it was his mat. This is my skeleton cat. I'm very proud of it. I got it from Target. I got Jordi a Frenchie skeleton for his apartment. Come in, come in. This part is a little dingy. I had a lot of plans for this entryway of my apartment, but those never got done. You know how it is. Um, so it's a, it's a bit dingy, but <laughs> this is my bench that I was so proud of. I found it on Amazon and I loved it so much because it opens up and it's like storage. Never used the storage. I don't know why. And my cats sleep on it. So this was white and now it's black, but I've never sat on this before. <laughs> this is my first time sitting on this. This is my electric scooter. Isn't she gorgeous? This is where I just throw shit. Um, I have a storage bin. It's pretty ugly over here. These are some floating shelves that I never put up. There's a closet here for my washer dryer and where I store all of my junk. This is my junk closet. There is no junk drawers in my kitchen, so I had to make a junk closet, you know what I mean? The entryway of my apartment is awkwardly long. I've never understood why half of the square footage is just in the entryway. So we have all of this as well. So <laughs> I got all of these pictures from, there's this big flea market in LA called the Melrose Trading Post. And they had all of these really cute, like pictures of like Malibu, Hollywood, San Francisco, California, LA, and Santa Monica. And I just love them because I love Los Angeles. So I framed them and I put them in this little hallway that we have here. This is my bar cart area. I love this bar cart. This area is so, so cute. I don't remember where I got this bar cart. I was looking for one on like La Brea and I don't remember the place that I got this. So I'm so sorry, but it's so cute. I don't use the bar cart as much anymore because I never have people over and whenever I do go out on the town, I'm never drinking at home, so all of these bottles are empty. But this is cute, I got this from the Trading Post too and I've never watered it. Somehow it's still still moving along. I also got all of these from the Trading Post, like all of these cute little colorful like cocktail pictures. But yeah, I, I like, I'm a very like neutral and like white furniture kind of girl, but I love to add like pops of color and like artwork and like little decor pieces, so. These pops of color are really fun. This is my favorite part of my entire apartment is like my living room and kitchen area. Like I'm freaking the fuck out. This couch gets a lot of questions. This couch is so beautiful. So the thing is, I really wanted a cloud couch because cloud couches are gorgeous and everyone fucking has them. I'm like, how does everybody in LA have a cloud couch? I went to go inquire about a cloud couch. You have to like literally set up a meeting to talk about it and it being the size that I wanted it to be and everything, it was around 30 grand and I'm not paying $30,000 for a couch. So I got a cloud couch dupe. It is still extremely expensive, but I got it on one stop bedrooms. It's called the cloud puff modular sectional, I believe, but it's like less than half of the price of a cloud couch and it literally feels the same. The only issue is I have a lot of cats. So I have to lint roll this couch like every two days or it's actually already starting to build up. I did lint roll the couch for you guys, so you wouldn't think I was like gross, but. <clears throat> this is my little basket of blankets. All of my like, I got these really soft blankets from fucking, oh, what's it called? I don't remember where I got these blankets. They were really expensive and I don't like them. That was my point. But I just got this little basket from Target and I roll up all of my 
blankets in there. My dad stayed here once while I was on vacation, and I came home, and this was here, and I've just never moved it. So this wasn't here before, but I've had this coffee table forever. I got this on Amazon when I first moved to LA, and it's so pretty because I love how it's like glass, but then there's like the wood underneath. I think it's so gorgeous, but I just have my girl down here. I'm on Cosmo. I have a bagel, right? And I have lots of Harry magazines down here as well. I just like to look at those throughout the day. These are my little coffee table books. I actually used to read these two fairy books with my grandmother and she gifted them to me. So I have them in my coffee table and I got The Giving Tree. It's just like a really nice coffee table book. I got it from West Elm because I used to read this book a lot when I was a small child. I've recently started keeping flowers in my apartment. I go to Trader Joe's every single week and I get flowers. So I keep some flowers in the living room and these are my little coasters. I don't know where I got these. I think I got these from the Trading Post too. Actually, no, I think someone sent these to me, but I don't remember where they're from, but they're really gorgeous. I love like resin shit. This rug, I get a lot of questions about this rug too. I got this from West Elm. I believe it's called like the faux shag rug, but you can literally like disappear into it. My cats love this rug. Everybody that comes over loves this rug. It's just so nice to like you know, TV, nothing to say here. I had my living room set up a lot different before because I wanted to mount my TV onto that pillar, but my apartment building wouldn't allow it. So I got like a stand for my TV and it's just right here. These pictures, I love these pictures. I'm obsessed with the Beverly Hills Hotel. I could safely consider myself a regular at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I loved, I love these pictures. This is from like a photo shoot from Oh, what's his name? Gray Mallon, I believe is his name. He had a photo shoot at the Beverly Hills Hotel a few years back, and I love his work. I love his work so much, and I'm gonna be so fucking for real with you guys. I considered like blowing these pictures up from Google at Staples so I could get them for cheap, and then I was like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, so I bought them from him, but I have this one, and I have this one, and I have this one. And I never moved this one higher when I put this TV here, so it's kind of blocked, but everything's okay. I'm surviving. This lamp is so pretty. I have this at my condo in Rhode Island too. This is from West Elm. It's just like, it's a lamp. It's really sick. This is from West Elm too. I'm a West Elm girl. Half my shit's from West Elm. I love that furniture store, but I love this plant because it's so big. I didn't know it was this big when I ordered it. And when it came in the mail, I was like, oh man, but it's really pretty. I don't know what it's called, but whenever I do have people come over to my apartment, actually funny story, I had a bunch of guys from WeHo come over one night after like a drunken night out and some guy was like standing over there just staring at this cat for like five minutes and then he just goes, yo, your cat's really chill. It's a fake Phoebe. This is a stuffed Phoebe. It's not real. Um, but it looks real because she just sits here and stares out the window all day long. Oh, I also have these. Okay, come over to the kitchen. These I also got from this, obviously the same stand at the Trading Post. I just love these pictures that they sell there. They're just so colorful and fun. I have a pasta pesto, I have a spaghetti carbonara. I had like a bolognese and like another one too, but I lost them somehow. I don't know how I like lost those, but they're really cute. And I just put everything in these wooden frames from Target. This is one of Marty's little <laughs> bird perches. I have these littered around the apartment so that he can be next to me at all times. He is locked in the bathroom right now though because he is loud, <laughs> so. This is the most perfect kitchen I've ever had. I love everything about this kitchen. I'm so obsessed with it. I love how the cupboards are just like a light wood. I love the white countertops. I love the island. My only note, there is no silverware drawer. There is no silverware drawer, there's no junk drawer. So my silverware is up on the counter, which is pretty odd in my opinion, but like, but like no one's fitting silverware into the skinny drawer. So I'm like confused about that. But I have my silverware up here. I got these soap dispensers from Target. There's rotting avocado in my sink. I'm so sorry. I display this cookbook because it's so pretty and Crossroads Kitchen is my favorite restaurant. It's on Melrose. It's like an all vegan, Italian, fine dining restaurant. So I have their cookbook displayed on my counter because it's gorgeous. I also have a, no oh, I put it away yesterday, whatever. I keep my little glass straws up here because they're just so gorgeous. This is my espresso machine. That Didn't you buy this for me? 
my dad bought this for me for like Christmas or something from like Best Buy, but it's just the brim espresso machine. They have this cute little thing from the trading post that Jordy got me up on top. It says, people's opinion of you doesn't define who you are because I was going through it in my TikTok comments. So Jordy got me this. My stove is really disgusting. Don't look at it, but I have this little, I got this from the trading post too. It's just like a little coffee menu, sort of like instruction guide on different coffee drinks. I have that above my stove. This is becoming my entire personality. And I'm sorry if you've heard me talk about this on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I literally can't stop talking about this tea kettle. I got it from William Sonoma. They have like a bunch of different patterns, but this one just, this just makes life fun. Every time I look at this tea kettle, it brings me <laughs> It brings me joy, so that's her. Vape break. <laughs> this is my $10 toaster. All of my friends have really cool toasters and I've, I've been so jealous recently, but this toaster just performs so well and it was 10 bucks, so I'm never getting rid of it. And this is my knife set. Dad, why do my knives do that? And no matter how much I wash You gotta them. dry them off when they, when they the, come out of the dishwasher, washer, because they're made of steel, steel oh. rusts. Well, I <clears throat> literally just got these like and last month. And I made a month, stainless steel. And they're already gross, but it's like a cute... Yeah, you can get that off with a... You need a scrubby. A scrubby? You have no scrubbies. Okay. This is my wellness cabinet. I talk about it all the time. This is where I keep all of my supplements and like my Air One potions and all that stuff. I keep my pre-workout up there, all my CBD stuff up there, and my supplements, vitamins, and greens powders. On the bottom shelf, what's in here? Ooh! The fun shit, the wine glasses, the martini glasses. This is where I keep my plates and my cute little spice rack and my spice containers. I got all those off of Amazon. I, this is also my entire personality, Air One Flake Salt. Invest in some Flake Salt, it'll change your life. These are my cups. I bedazzled my Hydro Flask with stickers the other day and I'm really proud of it. Tell me I'm talented. You're talented. And quirky. Unbelievable. Tell me I'm quirky. So quirky. Okay. Ooh, this cabinet's so gross. I'm not a queen of organization. <laughs> it's really my. I'm just being real. She's getting better though. I'm being she real. She was when she was a kid. Yeah. Things I keep on my counter. My cats ate this, so I don't know why it's still here, but it's just like a really cute little plant thing that I got from the trading post, but my cats will sneak up here and chew off the leaves, so it's completely dead, but I still keep it up here. More flowers. My Air One candle. Air One candles are so expensive, but they're the best candles, in my opinion. I'm not just like crazy. And the salt and stone candles are also my favorite. And I got this tiny pumpkin at Trader Joe's the other day, and it brings me joy when I look at it. So I have it on my counter. This is normally like my junk pile, but I decreased the size of my junk pile while my dad was coming over to film this video because I didn't want you guys to think I was like a hoarder. So it looks good right now. Over here is my record player. Because, you know, um, I love this record player. It's actually broken, okay? I'm, I'm working on fixing it. Once every six months I try to fix it, but it is broken. But it was a joy to have while it worked. Um, and it's just like a Crossley record player. I don't know what this is doing here, but this is really cute. I got this from the Trading Post too. And I got this like turntable table <laughs> from Amazon and Let's get into it. Records that I love so much that I cared enough to get them in vinyl form for my record player are as follows. Role Model RX, Youngblood Weird Album, Tickets to My Downfall, MGK, Death Race for Love, Juice World, Tell Me About Tomorrow by Jaden, Goodbye and Good Riddance, Juice World, R.I.P., Youngblood by Youngblood, Mainstream Sellout, MGK, Hotel Diablo, MGK. A Fray album. I don't talk about The Fray too often, but The Fray is one of my favorite bands. I have the Helios album. I have Fine Line, Harry Styles. I have Harry's House, Harry Styles. And I have Harry Styles by Harry Styles. Now I have to put these all away really quick. Hold on. This is Marty's cage. I do roll his cage into the office at nighttime, but during the day, this is where his cage lives. Um, this is my beautiful pillar. I love this pillar in my apartment, and I wanted to do so many things with it, like mount my TV on it, but they told me I couldn't. So now a floor mirror hangs out here. This is from West Elm. West Elm has the best giant 
floor mirrors. All of my mirrors are from West Elm, so that's where this gorgeous beauty is from. Ooh, Phoebe's bedroom is over here. This is Phoebe's little nook. She's the only cat that sleeps in that bed. That bed is going through it right now, but it is from Tufton Paw and it's really cute. But this is like where she comes to get away. All right. Oh, my cat tree. Such a pretty cat tree. Where did I get it? Now, M-A-U. It's the cutest little cat tree with little white puffs. It's covered in cat fur. I need to do something about that, but it's gorgeous. This is my balcony. Good thing I have a balcony, you guys, because although I do have like gorgeous floor to ceiling windows, they don't open. So if I didn't have this balcony, I would have no airflow. Like some of the apartments in this building have no balcony. So the people that live in there just can never get fresh air, which I think is very, a sad way to live. <laughs> so I'm glad that I have this balcony. I have this little wreath from the trading post and I've never watered this either. Cause how the fuck do you water a wreath? Like, do I have to like soak it in my sink? I don't know. Come, come. Disclaimer about my balcony. I did hang out a lot out here when I first moved in. Then the spiders took over and they made all their little houses. And I love spiders, but I don't necessarily want to like hang out with them when I don't know where they are. So there's like 20 families of spiders out here. So I don't hang out out here much. The floor, like the ground of this balcony got so gross, but I swept it for you guys because I didn't want you guys to think I was gross, but I should have just left it to be like so for real but I cleaned it. The cats hang out out here like all day though. They're like dogs. They beg at the door and I normally prop the door open with this basket. Venus sleeps in this basket when he's sleeping out here. It's actually really cute. But I got this little table from Guess, West Elm. It's really cute. I got this potted plant from the Grove. Jordy had the same one and I was like, I love that plant, where'd you get it? He said the Grove, so I went to the Grove and I got the plant. Oh, this is my cute little watering can from Target, this is exactly what I was looking for. I looked everywhere, like I looked at like a bunch of um, like plant stores. What are those stores called? Like hardware. Nurseries. Nurseries, <laughs> I looked at a bunch of nurseries looking for the perfect watering pan and I couldn't find one until I went to Target and I found this gorgeous little watering pan and I'm very proud of it. This plant is dead, don't look at it. <laughs> these are my other plants, I love her. I think I got these at the Trading Post and I got the pots on Amazon or Target, I don't remember. My little ashtray. This plant is also dead. I water my plants regularly, like I don't kill them, so I don't know why these two just didn't survive, but it's okay. These lights were really pretty when I first got them, but they don't work anymore, so they don't turn on or anything, but they were nice while they lasted. I think I got them at Target. This is my floating chair that I haven't sat in in a very long time because it's probably, well, I know it is covered in mold and the biggest spider I've ever seen in person besides the tarantula that I owned when I was a child lives up there and had an egg sac so I don't hang out on this chair um but it's cute I think I got it from Wayfair Wayfair has really cute like floating chairs my dad put this together <laughs> not me I love the view that I have because I get like all the hills, but they charge extra to be on the other side of the building because you technically get the sunset, but I get the sunset too and I pay less because I'm on this side. So that makes no sense to me. I don't like when, you, when you're on the table, it scares me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to give you guys a fridge tour. How fucked up am I? Here. Ripple, the like nicotine free vape, sent me this awesome picture. It's just a compilation of me and I have a huge ego. So I stuck it up on my fridge. And these are both of my boyfriend's and I's photo strips that we've done together. This is like the first day we met. That was our first kiss. We have our first kiss on photo. Who can say that? No one can say that. I can say that. Harry, me and boyfriend. The day we're filming this is National Boyfriend's Day. So happy National Boyfriend's Day. Me and my mother at a White Fox event and Jordy left this on my door once. It says, I love you more than air. So I stuck it up on my fridge. Ooh, do you guys want to come into my bedroom? <laughs> when Harry was having his residency in Los Angeles, that's when his line with Gucci came out. So all the Harrys were in town. Everyone was at the pop-up. It was so fun. I got, I really wanted this t-shirt because I wanted to wear it to one of the shows and I wanted to frame it. And I got the last one at the Gucci and Rodeo. It says, I want more berries in that summer feeling. And it has the little angry bear that I have tattooed on my arm. 
and then I framed it. But I didn't get it professionally framed, so it's like wrinkled in there. But maybe one day I'll make it look nice. Okay. Coming to my room. This is my bedroom. Um, when you first walk into my room, this is my closet. Uh, I did clean it for you guys. It's normally not this organized, but I keep like my shoes up on the top shelf. And I am. Um, it's a bit of a mess. We don't need to dive in, but. Sammy Smith. So I went to all the Harry shows in Los Angeles and Palm Springs with Jordy and Sammy Smith. And Sammy made me this beautiful tour picture framed and she put all the little pictures that we took not all of them obviously but she selected a bunch of pictures that we took during the residency and she put them in all the little letters and this is like the most thoughtful and sweet gift i've ever received from somebody and i was wondering what she was doing because she texted me she was like what's your favorite line from a harry song i said you've got my devotion and so she put it on like a little plaque at the bottom and I just like, I cried when she gave me this. I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. This is my room, my bed, where I hang out. I love my bed. This is the most perfect bed. I got the headboard and the frame from Soft Frame Designs. They just make such a perfect like cloth platform sort of bed. The only issue is I have cats and they scratch it. They love to scratch this bed. It takes me hours to fall asleep at night because I can hear them scratching all around the bed and I get so angry. So I wouldn't recommend if you have cats, but like I don't like any other beds. So I'm probably gonna have this kind of bed forever, but I love this setup. I have my mattress, it's from LOL, and then my comforter and all of my pillows and my sheet sets are from Brooklinen. I actually just ordered a bunch of new ones for my new house. So I'm excited to have like a new comforter and everything, but this is my stitch. I got this beautiful like LED sign um, a while ago. It says Tara's fucking world and it's pink. I'm gonna turn it on for you guys. This is my beautiful sign. I only turn this on at night and I turn on my galaxy lights when I'm like hanging out in bed and it's such a vibe, such a vibe. My mommy got me this for my birthday because I was eyeing this for so long at the trading post but I never bought it. And then my mom was here for my birthday weekend and she was like, well, what do you want? I was like, I want this. So she got me this and it's just perfect because it's like pink and like above my pink sign. And I just think it's so girly and fun and I'm obsessed with it. This wall makes no sense. Like I was supposed to do so many things with this wall and I just didn't. Like it just looks awkward. But Jordy got me this, I believe for my birthday last year in 2022. He had this made from a girl on Instagram and it's just like our cute little family at the time. We were gonna get it redone because then we added on Venus and Coulson, but we never did. So I love this picture, it's really cute. And this is my little good night moon clock that I got from the trading post. There's this awesome guy that takes like books and stuff and he makes them into clocks. And this was me and my mother's favorite book when I was a small child. So I have it up on the wall. Hi. I had a burst of random um, need to do a passion project <laughs> like, a, like a while ago. And I was like, I need to make a painting. So I went out and got like paint and like an easel and like all this shit. And I made this of MGK. This photo, I traced it. Okay, I didn't fucking draw that. But I traced this picture from the night where he smashed the wine glass on his face at Madison Square Garden. So that's the blood trickling down his jaw. But I traced this picture and then these are all of my favorite lines from MGK songs. MGK is my favorite person on this planet. I literally have a cat named Colson Baker after him. So I had to make an ode for MGK to hang in my bedroom. So I never fucking forget it. And oh, this is my grandpa who has now passed away. God rest his soul. Um, we used to like play with this little action figure that we found in a cereal box. You know how like cereal boxes used to have like little toys in them? I don't know if that's still a thing, but this was our little Superman. So I keep him up here. <laughs> These are my bookshelves. I need to, I'm getting like an actual bookcase because obviously my books don't fit on this, but my ex-boyfriend put these up for me. And this is where I keep my books and my vintage gum. I got this on eBay for like 60 bucks because this is the gum I used to eat when I was like six. And so I had to have like a vintage case of it because they don't make it anymore. So that's my vintage gum. 
I don't smoke those. I don't smoke cigarettes. I've had this box in particular for like four years. It just sits here for a rainy day. <laughs> There's this man that's set up at the trading post, the Melrose trading post. It's when you first walk in off of Melrose Ave, he makes dining room tables, he makes coffee tables, he makes tree stumps. And I wanted this sort of nightstand for the longest time, but nowhere makes like a tree stump nightstand. So I never got one. And then I saw this when I was at the trading post one day, I was like, that's what I've always wanted. And it even made my room smell like the forest for like the first few days that I had it because it was still so fresh. So this is my tree stump. Thank you, man, at the trading post for making this. My little flowers. I keep a lint roller next to my bed because I lint roll my bed every single morning when I wake up because all the cats sleep with me. So I have to lint roll my bed every morning. I keep some Erewhon hand lotion next to my bed. I keep the Dr. Teal sleep spray and I spray my pillow before I go to sleep. I keep CBD oil in case I'm like wired, but I need to go to bed. This is the book I'm reading right now. It's a series, it's a 10 book series. I'm on book seven and it's so good. My vape is plugged in on my, and my candle. I got this candle actually from Target cause I was feeling in the fall spirit. It's pumpkin spice from Target and it doesn't do me the way the air one candles do but I needed a pumpkin candle. Another Marty stump and this floor mirror is from West Elm. I didn't want to necessarily, oh my God, head high. I didn't necessarily want to put my floor mirror against the window, but the lighting is just so good when I'm taking like a mirror selfie right here because the light's coming in from this way. So I stuck it right there. I accidentally stole this maple tree from Target. I didn't mean to steal it. If that makes me sound any better, I didn't mean to, but. Why don't you bring it back? Cause why would I do that? <laughs> this is my pile of junk. Um, it's been there since I've moved in. And I was like, I'm going to like go through my pile of junk. I say that every week. I never have. That, that's always been there. There's junk behind my mirror. There's junk in the other corner. And it's going to stay there until I move. And that's fine. I'm only human. So this bathroom is bougie. The light turns on when I walk in. <gasps> oh, okay. But here's the thing. This is going to make me sound like a snob. There's two lights in this bathroom. There's this ugly light. That's the one that turns on when you walk in. And then there's that that light okay so every single time i walk through this bathroom that turns on i turn it off and i put that one on every single time because this is my bathroom i love my bathroom i spend most of my time in here because how gorgeous is this i love the wood the light wood again my little i think this is from Brooklyn in our Target, I don't know, it gets really dirty. I, I like like white shit and then it just gets dirty so I have to wash this frequently, but it's like cute. Um, things I keep on my bathroom counter. My beautiful toothbrush. It needs to be on display because it's so gorgeous. I got it from Better and Better and it's just like a, it's just like a bamboo electric toothbrush and it's gorgeous. I got my soap dispenser from Target and then I have these two little potted plants from Target. More fucking flowers. Another Air One candle. I need to light a candle when I come in here to do skincare or like take a shower and it's so nice. There's nothing left in here. Got these little dishes from, there's a lady at the trading post that makes like rolling trays and little dishes out of like resin and flowers. So I got them for my jewelry and they're so pretty, but I think they're made to be ashtrays cause there's those little things to like hold your joint, but they're so pretty for like jewelry in your bathroom. And then I just have this little basket for like makeup that I don't use. So I don't know why it's up here, but this is all of my makeup that I don't use. <laughs> I don't know why it's there. My skincare wall. In my last apartment, I had this like giant dramatic built in skincare wall. And so now that's what I'm used to. So when I moved in here, I had to put up floating shelves to make like a little makeshift skincare wall. I just think it's such a pretty touch to a bathroom to like take all of your pretty products and display them on like shelves, like floating shelves. I think it's such a pretty touch to add. So this is like the skincare that I use most of the time, like on my day-to-day -day life. And this is the skincare that I don't use that much. These drawers are really horrible, but I know where everything is because there's certain things in my drawers that I do use and I know where everything is in this pile. So, I have another picture of the Beverly Hills Hotel over my toilet. 
I got this one actually at the Beverly Hills Hotel in like one of the gift shops next to the pool. And it's so cute, so I just put it above my toilet and I keep my towels up here. My robes are hung on the wall. I love my shower. I normally have, I, I've been traveling a lot recently and I, I'm never home on Sundays. I don't know what it is about Sundays, but I just haven't been home on like any Sundays, so I haven't been going to the trading post. But normally, I get eucalyptus at the trading post every week and I hang it on my shower head because it just makes it so spa-like when you're in there. If you have like eucalyptus and the water is like going down it and stuff. I gave you guys a shower tour of all my products in like a vlog that I filmed like a few weeks ago so I won't get into it but and then I have that little bin and that bin has been collecting water since I moved in I know my dad's making a face oh, what is that? it's foggy oh. moldy water in that bin there's orbs of fuzzy things floating in it <laughs> yeah it's, it's gross and this is my little bath mat I just put that down before I get into the shower and Marty showers with me. Whenever I shower, he sits up here and he has a really fun time. So I live in a two bedroom apartment because I have so many pets. So I feel like I, if I lived in like a one bedroom, it just wouldn't work out. And I like to have an office. So I got a two bedroom. This is the technically the second bedroom. This is my office where I'd be working and shit. <laughs> this is also Marty's bedroom. So I roll him in here at nighttime. I cover his cage, I shut the shades, and he sleeps in here. So this is his bedroom slash my office. I had plans for this room, okay? I was gonna decorate, I was gonna make it like a little cozy, dead in here, like office vibes. I never got there, and that's okay. Um, so it's a little confusing. It's a confusing room, nothing really makes sense, but like, I hate this floor mirror that's put up against the wall. I don't know where I got it. I don't know why I have it. This is the scratching post that my cats don't use. They prefer to scratch my nice furniture, but I did get this from Tufts and Paul. <gasps> good kitty. You're so good. Liar. You're so well behaved. No, he prefers that couch. Venus scratches that couch. Good all alive. Sure, Look at him. You trying to be like a liar? <laughs> all right, whatever. This cat follows me around like a dog all day. It's the cutest thing. Oh, Bobby Flay sent me these. <laughs> These little cat toys. <gasps> yeah! That's from your daddy. I want to marry Bobby Flay. I'm sorry if he's already married, but just in my theoretical fantasy land, I'd love to marry Bobby Flay. Yeah! This is a little collage of random photos. Like, I don't know who... Did you make this, Dad? I made it. Okay, random ass photos. These are photos of me and my dad, like graduation, me and my grandma with some parrots. Child photo. It's just a very random collection of pictures. I don't know how they relate. This is the obituary <clears throat> of King Richard. <laughs> King Richard Eugene Harris. My grandfather. This one's father. He was a legend. His obituary is push pinned into my wall. Thumbtacked, if you will. And here's the cutest collage of me and my mother. See, this collage makes sense. You know, right. It just makes sense. It flows better. It's cute. She got this for me for like my birthday or something. I don't know. This clock never made it up on the wall. <laughs> it's been leaned up against the wall on the floor since I've moved in. It never made it up on the wall and that's okay. I don't know where I got this plant. I'm assuming Target because this is my desk where I be working and shit. No, I don't, I never work here because the animals drive me crazy. I go downstairs. My apartment building has these like meeting rooms that I like to work in because I can go down and get some peace and quiet. I don't be working at this desk. But if I have like little things to do, I'll sit here. I love this desk. I got it from West Elm. I think it's called like the industrial desk or something. I don't remember. Actually, I don't love it because there's not enough drawers. These are stuffed with like work shit. <laughs> What's in here? But all of these little random decorations are from Target. I actually brought these two things from my apartment in Providence and they made it on the flight. And so this lamp is very like office vibes. I think it's so cute because it goes right over your desk. I got this from West Elm and I'm obsessed with it. This is like my another, it's not junk. This is like my PR corner. Whenever I get something in the mail or like a brand deal I'm working on or Stuff like that, I toss it in this corner. I wanna get like a big dresser for my office at some point so I can like organize my PR and stuff in drawers because for now it's on the floor and that's my yoga mat. 
in the corner, and that's a picture of me and my manager, Jordan, and that's a whiteboard that I don't... See? He's scratching the couch. No. And that's a whiteboard that I don't use because I don't have a marker. So it just hangs up on the wall. I don't have a marker for it, so I can't write on it. I bought this couch because I wanted to have a sitting room in my office, but it also pulls out to a bed. So if my mother is staying with me or before my dad moved here, like if he was coming to stay with me, it pulls out into a bed. So this also makes for a great guest room. I got this from West Elm. I don't know what it's called. The Marin Sofa. I remembered. One of you guys made this for me at a uh, playlist. I was having a meet and greet and a lovely lady gave me this photo of me and Marty. So it is tacked to the wall in my office. This is a closet that my dad recently organized. So this closet was full probably up to here with just like shit and shit would get lost in here. It was a really awful closet, but I left, I went away and my dad organized the closet for me. So now I keep just like my dresses and my hats and my bathing suits and stuff that I don't wear on like a day-to-day -day basis. I use this like my second closet. Hi Marty. I had to lock Marty in the bathroom for this video because he would have been screaming the whole time. Hi. I locked you in the dark bathroom. I know. Oh. <laughs> this is the second bathroom. I don't use this as like a place to pee. This is the cat's bathroom. So these are their two litter boxes. I love this litter box because it's like, it adds to the house. So I, I order from this brand called Tuft & Paw. They make like modern luxury cat furniture. And their whole thing is like, they want to make cat stuff that adds to your home instead of it just looking like a cheap, like cat post or like a weird little litter box. Like they make this beautiful, piece. It's like a little cabinet, but it's a litter box, just like a hidden litter box. And this is the Cove litter box from Tuft & Paw. I have nothing in this bathroom. No one uses it. Cats. So the cats use it. No humans use it. There's not even toilet paper on the roll. You use this bathroom. I use it all the time. I love it. Yeah. My dad uses this bathroom in the shower. <laughs> when I stay here, when she's away, when I'm pet watching. Shower. Marty, take a bite. <laughs> take a bite out of the Tyra's followers. <laughs> so cute. What a cute day. Cute bird. Boop. I'm sorry it took so long for this apartment tour. I've literally been living here for like eight months. But like I said before, I cannot film in front of people. And this is like the kind of video that somebody needs to be like filming for me. I can't film in front of people. So how would that work? But my dad just moved here and I can film in front of him. So thank you dad for filming this. I'm so grateful to be living here. This is like seriously my dream apartment. It is so perfect. And it's such a nice change from the apartment complex that I lived at for the first two years that I lived in LA. I moved around to three different apartments within the same complex at the one that I used to live at. And I really liked it. It was a really cool, place to live but the area was just really scary like it was in Hollywood and I couldn't just like go on a walk outside of the building because I would have gotten shanked like the security was really bad like the gates were always broken like there was like a shooting like right underneath my balcony in the courtyard because the gate was open anyways this is a really safe area and like I like just being able to like walk outside and like walk around everyone's chill I really love it here um thank you for watching this was so much fun to film I love my favorite video to watch on YouTube I think is apartment tours or like house tours so this was really fun for me to film and I hope you enjoyed my Amazon storefront will also be linked down below and and if you want to follow any of my other socials, my TikTok and my Instagram are both just Tara's World. And my only fans is It's Tara's World or Tara's Tits. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you feel like it. I'm begging. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>